if we did believe as a country that healthcare was a human right, what are other sorts of policies that would flow from that? And what impact would that have on people's lives? Right. One of the things that would happen, look, in a dysfunctional, broken, profit-oriented system, the goal is not to keep you healthy, certainly not to keep a low-income child healthy. The goal is to make as much money as you can. If we keep people healthy, you know, it saves substantial sums of money, but it's not necessarily in the best interest of the insurance companies or the drug companies. We do a terrible job in terms of preventative health. We are spending no, no, five, between five and seven percent of our huge healthcare budget on preventative, on primary healthcare, compared to double, or in some cases even triple that in other countries. All right. So, for example, and I know we're going to talk about nutrition, we're going to talk about obesity, uh, we're going to talk about you know, drug addiction and all that other stuff. But bottom line is our focus should be on keeping people healthy. And right now, at the very least, you know, what we should be having is a system when I'm sick, I can walk into a doctor's office. Right now, for many people, they can't get into that doctor's office. They become sicker. They end up in the emergency room, which is very expensive health care. They may end up in the hospital, which is enormously expensive health care. Do we do a good job in primary health care? No. It is absolutely disastrous.